Malice. Eagle. And Compassion. Malice. Ego and compassion. These are the keystones of all behavior of people. Malice, the ascension of existence, exists to conquer, to destroy, and to humiliate. It needs the power of others. To succeed. Compassion. The ascension of existence that holds to be in harmony. That is based on respect and decency. Being called by the mindset of malice the part of existence of malice in most times foolishness or stupid and then we have ego ego is the part of existence that needs have only exist have only to serve himself the mindset of or extension of um, existence of ego only exists for self sustainability. It only exists to protect his self. It is cowardice. There's apathy. Because the ego say only do uh, what is safe. The ego say, do what is popular. Not what feels right. Not what is logical right. That's what compassion say. The compassionate person is the only one that is completely moral, actually. Morality can only come from compassion. Pure morality. Because the compassion person, in a case of injustice, have the capacity to empathize, to place himself in the suffering position, and watch the position from the suffering subject in the question, in the situation. In contrary with the malice one, I only want to infuriate and radical. The ego also most of the time we were together with the malice. Because he is the ego is afraid for him because he knows the, the malice will consume me, the will kill me. And the ego is not very strong minded, therefore the ego person is the um, you can say the ego person if you want to generalize with this uh, philosophy part you, you can say the ego person or the ego ascension is a main source in the personality traits of people who are not the bullies on school but the ones that stand behind beside the bully and are doing actually the bully in second degree. You can say there are the bullies by proxy. I think that's the right word. When a compassion person, he knows he does something as unpopular, he knows it is right because he empathizes with the suffering subject and therefore say something to the uh, to the bully and say that he have to have a uh, he is a coward, bullied in the weak, and he go to a ramp in the face of the oppressor. In, even he knows he gets uh, punishment, 
by the school or the system for doing that. If you get one mine. Same with uh, animals. Animals are weak. Animals cannot defend themselves in the way. And they are the most biggest victims of all. 60 billion. 70 billion. Plant animals are killed any year for burger, for food taste. Something apathetic like that. There's no excuse for it. All excuses are coming from malice or from ego. And none of them can be justifiable reasons for continuing holocausts. It's like there was no excuse for my logical and compassionate perception to not in one finger clap stop slavery or holocaust the apathy of the people is enough to make the most evil dictator raise to power because the ego thinks as long as you don't affect me how cares i don't care about the later point the ego only cares about the present. Not, they don't think one moment in the future. They don't think. Um, maybe I am the next. I'm the next victim of this cycle. This bully. This dictator. This cruel king. President. Only compassion creates empathy. And creates one moral and just world. We need to understand that all living beings here be not for us, and we need to dump this anthropocentrism mindset. But we are the only ones that are important and the only ones that deserve respect. Just because we want it, just we can dictate others because we are more strong we have more political powers or more technology where others manipulative intelligence deceitful now have great power of discourse But the greater part of it is deceitful, false. May be most likely. Most animals have little power of discourse, but with their possess is pure and honest. They don't play games. Even if we try to let them, what it look like if they play games. They are themselves. They are their own play one opera. And if you want to see that, you can see animals act like us. But they are just trying to survive. Survive. They're not greedy. Intentional, at least. Like so much billionaires and trillionaires on this planet, how do competitions to get the most wealth? And this the power of the masses. The masses are in the ego state. How can be more cruel than the malice? In many ways. You need only one malice people and a lot of apathetic people, people who only care about themselves, to create something like the Third Reich, or slavery, or animal husbandry, or slavery, as anyone who wants to say. The opposite of 
is not hatred. It is apathy. Take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor. Not once. The oppressed. Silence encourages the tormentor. Not torment. Go Figa. Use empathy for the victims. Place yourself for one moment in their position. Be compared to a life long will, a life of a misery, enslavement, baby theft. Can never. It turned in food. Als Isaac Balsever Singer wants up saying In their relation to creatures All men are Nazis People see oppressor preferably where they are the victims Otherwise They are oppressed without thinking Without two So Which is your basis of your being. Claim you are to be a person of viral, or you want you to be a person of success. A person of viral is a person who not only talks a good game. Which I'll actually do the right, the right thing. Animal agriculture is destroying the planet. It is destroying the lives of billions of innocent beings and trillions of marine animals who are also innocent beings. If You start to watch anything from the victim's point of view and annihilate all ego and malice. What do you get? All living beings love life. All fear death. See yourself in others. And how can you hurt? Like the Buddha once have said. Go vegan. What's excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? 